Victims of war. With all the Freeman leaders dead, Fairbanks and his people should feel lots safer in the Emerald Graves. So that is what I must do now is go speak to Fairbanks. And let's travel to his hidden hidden base. Any news, Inquisitor? The Freemen have been defeated. They hurt so many of my people. Now it's finally over. Thank you. Perhaps with the Freemen gone, we can find a proper home. Argon's Lodge was always well situated. Inquisitor. No, I think that's everything. Best of luck to you. I need to be going. Be safe. Agent acquired some rash find over here. For the Inquisition. There is a uh, someone to sell my loot to, and I will definitely take advantage of that. Some more rash vine right here. It's rash vine, not traveling. Of course. I'm standing because of you. I've little to give, but I'll always be grateful. I hope things are going well. The supplies we salvaged from Custo's mine have been a great help. Thank you again for saving us. How did you end up in the Viridium mine? Oh. We desperately needed supplies and tried to steal some from the Freemen. The mine didn't seem well guarded, and I used to be in the militia in my home village. I don't know why we weren't killed. I do remember Sister Costou talking about sending us to the Empress de Lyon. Maybe I was mistaken. I can't imagine what they'd do with us there. All right, so I will sell off everything that I can. All right, our packs are lighter, much lighter. Is there anybody else that uh, we can help while we're here? We did, after all, hand them back the entire area. Hello. Inquisitor, you saved Gertrude and the others. Thank you so much. Uh, this is bold of me, but if I could have a moment. I'm here. What do you need? This... This is about Fairbanks. There is a rumor that he is of noble blood. Once the war is over, many of us will return to serve our lords. To work their fields, raise their brats. And most of the aristocracy know little of the lives of commoners. They care nothing for us. Fairbanks is different. He is a great man. There is much he could do if he had the power. If the rumor is true, if Fairbanks is noble and we have proof... Do you see what I'm saying? Does Fairbanks know about this rumor? Uh, he doesn't like it. And he won't let me discuss it. Stubborn ass. No, well, it sounds good. If he's good with the commoners, he should maybe have a posting here. Or at least somewhere where the people can decide if they want to go work for him. I'd like to know more about you and the rest of the people here. Most of us are simple folk. Farmers, fishermen, a Jolene over there is a smith. Just people trying to escape the war. What else do you know about Fairbanks? He is a good man. He found us when we most needed him. He kept us safe. He doesn't like to talk about himself, so I... I actually don't know much about him. This rumor about Fairbanks being noble. What do you want me to do about it? Oh! I... I don't mean to impose, but you travel all over the dales, don't you? Perhaps if you found something that could help. I've written everything I know in my journal. You can look at it. Okay. Goodbye. Uh... Hmm. Proof of his nobility. Just checking my journal here. Noble deeds, noble heart, proof of his nobility. I don't see that. Well, where would it be? <sighs> hmm. I don't see it. What? Oh, it is noble deeds, noble heart. Okay. 
write things down so fast. I don't know what I'm looking for. Clara heard a rumor that Fairbanks is an, of noble descent. She believes it, it, it and wants proof to show the Council of Heralds. If Fairbanks gains power, she hopes he can do more for the people of the Dales. Well, she's not Dalish herself. That's interesting, but there are a lot of other people who live here who aren't Dalish. A lot of Shem. Well, we have still a lot more work to do here. Nothing seriously pressing. We visited that Astraeum. Uh, let's go check out these noble deeds. We can start a, a camp up north. Go visit... Try to go find this mother who had a daughter die. And light a candle for the mother, another mother who had... Uh, somebody die for her. I assume a son or, or daughter. Of course. Um... Primeval Red Lyrium still wish here. Hmm. Okay, so there's unfinished business for Cassandra. I didn't know that was here, and there's still some more rifts. So, let us go north. We will target this area. Try to find documents. Shemlin, if you'll take us there, please. Documents to prove that Fairbanks is a noble. Human concept of noble. We don't have such a thing. Sister Costello is dead. <laughs> Sister Costello is dead. I hope she died slow, is what he said. Well, she turned against everybody. It would be nice to strike and hit Samson. Hit somebody. Alexius was the. Well, also the Western approach. Idiot. Uh, the guy who was also trying to... Two idiots in the Western approach. One of them was trying to um, convert all the wardens to demons. Well, that's the highest we've gotten, but no one who can lead their army... Oh. Uh, Varric, be so kind as to open this, please. No one who's really in the inner circle. I think Alexius was the closest... And he's dead at my hands. Oh. I'll open this up. Superb Dwarven Rock Crusher. Now what is this piece of paper? Duhame's notes. The shipments are prepared, and once again, the rats from Watcher's Reach are getting in my way. One woman got far enough into my camp to look in the crate, scrounging for food, no doubt. Sneaky little peasants, perhaps traps next time. Lovely man. I do find it hard to imagine that there's really wealthy people and then there's really poor people. It just doesn't make any sense. Everything is really shared among us. Our, our resources are shared in order to further the clan. A midwife's journal. This time-worn diary was found amongst more valuable items. It is bound in leather and has a solid silver trim, which might be why it was saved. A few entries can still be made out. 16 herring, 9-8. This has been the old, the coldest winter I can remember. Even the river is frozen. No one should be out here, not in this blizzard. So you can imagine my surprise when there was a knock on my gate. A young woman. She's looking for the Fairbanks cottage. I go out. I say to her, nothing fair about this weather, but yes, you are at the right place. She throws back her cloak, and I see she is heavy, less than two weeks away. Please help. She is almost in tears. I bring her into the house and sit her by the fire with some tea and slippers. She is young, not more than 20. Her hands are smooth. They have not seen a day at work in her life. Her clothes are travel-stained, but fine. The cloak must be worth at least 50 royals. Beautiful blue, trimmed with fox fur. Her name is Bernice, but she won't say more. Many girls come here not wanting to say who they are. I understand. 25th herring, 9-8. Bernice has had the baby, a boy, healthy, full head of hair. She named him Everest. She tried to pay me with a heavy gold locket, a falcon on its face. I asked her what it was. It looks valuable. She says it's her father's, and she doesn't care to have it anymore. I tell her she might not, but her son might one day want to know where he's from. First winter march, 9-9. Nine, nine. A new year. Bernice should be healthy enough to leave, but it is still cold, and I just cannot turn her out. I will ask her to stay and be my assistant. I have needed help for a while. My fingers are not as nimble as they used to be. Clever girl. She will make a fine apprentice. This is, uh, he was born 33, 33 years ago, approximately. 
So that's how old Fairbanks is. Dalish used to live for eternity until we decided to die. Not Dalish, sorry, uh, elves of ancient elves of Alvanon. Can you just open this door up? It's bugging me. Thank you. Is there anything else in this place? No. That's it. Let's air out the stink from the wealthy Shem. We think that they're better than the other Shem beneath them, who are commoners, do all the labor, all the work. Do the dying early, I suppose, as well. Well, this is a way to alert any enemy that we're here. Birds flying out. Oops. Embryum. So this next document is reputed to be very close. I've already been through here, but... An old painting. An old painting and a carved wooden frame. Paint has rubbed off it in some places, carved into the back of the frame. Lord Giraud Lamarck. The portrait shows the Lord as he must have looked over 40 years ago. He bears a striking resemblance to Fairbanks. Hmm. Okay, then. And then there's just this one. Well, we've been right by here. This is the lodge, Argon's Lodge. Not too far away from where we are. Okay, so where is this place? It's close. Is there somebody here? Somebody's taken the. Looks like Fairbanks' people have taken up residence here. That's interesting. That's Fairbanks himself. Hello? Inquisitor. There's a rumor circulating that you're of noble birth. Ah, oh, Clara, I told you not to pursue this. Pay that rumor no mind. I'm not noble, nor would I desire such. Tell me about your people. Simple people. Most have lost family. All have lost their homes. We just want to survive. I need to be going. Be safe. So he doesn't want to believe it. Oh, there's Gertrude yes. over here. So this is where they packed up and moved. Always be welcome here. And I've already bought and sold, but it's nice to know there's a vendor right here. Okay, so let's continue up where we were going. I can't believe this. Oh my. Under the protection of the Inquisition. Oh, there's life brought back here. It's not just a bunch of freemen idiots running around trying to pretend they know how to fight. Sensing something. It must be in another room. Get over here. On the shelf. Orlay, Heraldry and Symbolism. This book offers a comprehensive look of the well known noble bloodlines of Orlay. Of interest are a few lines in the entry on the House of Lamarck. Amis Lamarck established this ancient house in the time of Emperor Cordillus Draken. Sadly, the bloodline ended with Lord Giraud Lamarck, who disowned his only daughter Bernice. The shield of Lamarck bears a falcon volant on a field of a sky of sky blue and gold. The house's motto is to the sun on blessed wings. Well, this kind of confirms exactly what we've been looking for. His mother was Bernice. Something Something hostile over that way. Anyhow, I suppose we'll just have to run right up to Fairbanks himself and tell him, give him his uh, the proof. You had it. Of course not. This happens when you listen to other people's conversations. You have no idea what's going on. I hear you've been investigating my birth. You haven't found anything, have you? You're the child of Lady Bernice Lamarck. I know who I am. Will you give me what you found, please? Honestly, Clara's intentions are good, but she is young and idealistic. Clara believes that being noble gives you power, freedom. She's wrong. It is just another cage. She told you the story of Lord Giraud Lamarck. 
The man turned his back on his only child and murdered her one true love for appearances. I don't want to be entangled in that. I don't want Clara in it. Do you understand? No. No. No, I disagree. You could be in a leadership position. These people need you. You could actually be sanctioned by the Empress. No. I'm sorry. Something requires my attention over there. Yeah. I'm not going to let that go. It's for the greater good. The people here. I'm sorry. But Claire is going to have to get the proof. You were right. Fairbanks is noble by birth. Fairbanks is not even his real name. Let me see. Evariste Lemarque. I knew it from the start. I know just who to give this to. This will be enough to make the Council sit up and take note. I'll send this on as soon as possible. Thank you, Inquisitor. I believe that's much more important than hiding from something your, your grandfather did. Your grandfather doesn't make who you are. You make who you are. No one else can change that. So, that being the case... Fairbanks. Inquisitor. Suppose he knows already. I need to be going. I'll be here. Alright then. Where to go now? Well, there's a... Barathos steps. We've already set that camp up, have we? Yeah, we have. This camp, I don't think it was set up. I'm going to have to take Shem to get out there. Shemlin, sorry, not Shem. There's a difference. His name is not Shem. Shem is an individual. Well, no. It's like fish, actually. Shemlin is the... Uh, the full name, full word for it. All right, let's go. Let's go meet. So let's go start this last camp. Well, it's not a last camp. There's another camp that can be built. But with this, we'll have our Inquisition camps all over. Yeah, this is. It's a fair bit. I think that the, is this a path? Yeah, it's a path. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out. <laughs> Who is this? Hello. Our friends are alive because of you. I've got your back. You must be one of Fairbanks men. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for Well two things. There's now two treasure maps that we have. That's definitely not it. That's not the one I was looking for. So one thing about this area, a lot of it's starting to look the same after a while. Oh, we've already set this camp up. Okay, maybe that's why it looks the same. <laughs> but, there is this. If we can go through it, I'm not sure. There's no path going up there. Trollus Herb, Herb two E's, no, Herb two B's, is researching Fade Rifts for what he calls his great mission. He appears to have camped at a safe distance from each rift for a time, observing its behavior. Now, I'm not sure if we can go this way, but we'll try it. Uh, it might be blocked off by hills up ahead. See, I've marked it on my map. Yeah, it is marked. Well, this kind of looks like a path. What is that? Some kind of old stone... F no, they're old s rocks. They're, I thought it was a some kind of old Shem Fort. Well, this rift is not even... Uh, let's deal with the rift. I was going to say it wasn't listed, but... The Leaping Demons, my favorite. Ah!
These demons are a pain. Oh, okay, well, the first wave is done. Cassandra actually has a new axe. Uh, this won't do anything. It's a very powerful axe. Ah, these demons. Hopefully it'll help against all of these. That's it. Fade Rift. I can make my own. These are particularly powerful demons. Die. I find the fall of the Dwarven lands confusing. What's so confusing about Endless Darkspawn? A great deal. Although that is a different matter. Dwarves control the flow of Lyrium. They could tighten their grip on it. It's hard to get the attention of the humans when the Darkspawn aren't up here messing with their stuff. You're active in the Carter? You know your people could tug the purse strings. You could claim sovereign land on the surface. Or demand help restoring the Dwarven Kingdom, but you don't. You're not saying anything I haven't said myself, Jackals. Or Zamar is what it is. <laughs> Alright, so we'll have to find this. He's close by, I believe. Trollius Herb to Beasts. Next time.